Thank you, everyone. All right, take it away, Brandy. Excellent. Our next trailblazer is Christopher Cristalli. He is the founder, writer, producer, and creative director of Dreamland. Today, you're going to learn about XR NFTs powered by Dreamland Fireside Chat with Molly as that starts to come to the surface. We're talking about bubbling up all these great ideas. You'll be able to learn about the Dreamland use, the power of innovation to develop and create meaningful XR NFTs, the journey beyond transitional tactics, and with a focus on the audience engagement and strategy. So all ears in, Molly is joining at this moment. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you for that beautiful introduction, Brandy. Uh, Chris, are you here? Hi. Hello, oh. Molly. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, it is my honor to introduce someone who uh, you just heard um, has an incredible background, and I thought I should start with a little story about how I met Chris. Chris is not just a talented entrepreneur. He's also a guardian angel to AI Showbiz because last year uh, we were in virtual reality, remember, Chris? Yes. Uh, in the Museum of Other Realities, and I had no idea what I was doing and we needed to film it. And Chris just materialized and took care of everything. And we've been good friends, haven't we, ever since? Yes, we have. Yes, yes. thank you. That was a fun show. And oh. here we are again, uh, working with AI Showbiz and a wonderful team of speakers. So I'm so honored to be here, Molly. Thank you for having me. Well, uh, Chris, I think there is no one we could have better uh, to kick off the morning than you, especially because of your pioneering, very visionary work that you're doing in virtual reality, XR, and non-fungible tokens, NFT. And so um, to get started, I would love for you to share with the audience a little bit, how did you get into the NFT uh, space? What was the impetus? <laughs> Sure. Well, uh, I'm Chris from Dreamland, as I mentioned, and I'm based here in Las Vegas. Uh, our company is a very forward thinking team of ideators and creators, and we typically live in this space that's uh, a few years ahead of the mainstream. So, uh, for example, when um, 2D digital technology was first coming out, I was fortunate to be there and got a chance to work on the very first 2D digital where motion picture films started to go away and being replaced with digital technology. Uh, shortly after we were there for the 3D boom, uh, working with a lot of great partners to bring 3D into cinemas and everywhere that it wasn't at the time. Uh, the next big transition for us was virtual reality and about two years before Oculus was purchased by Facebook, we were there with the VR Fest and building community and starting to spread the gospel of VR. And now all these years later, here we are with XR NFTs. So that journey for us really began uh, during the pandemic as we started building out our virtual spaces and launching our virtual events division, uh, which some of you may know, we did uh, one of the largest VR events in the country with CES as our official partner in January. Uh, that was an amazing experience, partnership, partnership with some great companies like Chicken Waffle and um, Freshwater, just a whole slew of amazing people. And during that time, we started ideating the future of NFTs. Um, there was a few things that we worked on that had some early NFT adoption, but really uh, this past six months, we've really stepped up, stepped up the pace and pushed the gas, if you will. And a lot of that has to do with uh, one of our favorite new pieces of technology, which is the portal hologram system, which yeah. really, you know very well. Um, everyone who sees portal instantly thinks of NFTs. It's just hard not to. Um, for those that don't know, uh, portal hologram was founded by our good friend, David Nussbaum. It's an amazing device for delivering awesome uh, imagery to the masses, uh, currently in its life-size form, it makes for a great showpiece in museums or in your mansion filled with NFTs. Um, also, uh, the Portal Mini will be coming out towards, uh, I guess the end of this year, early next year, and we're excited for that to bring a whole new layer of consumer adoption into the NFT space. So we're very excited there. 
And since you're talking about one of my favorite topics, portal, uh, and by the way, David Nussbaum is going to be speaking in the portal later today. Awesome. Chris has the most amazing showroom in Vegas with a portal holoportation machine and um if you're in an area you have to get a hold of chris and uh, come and see it um so i was wondering chris if you could tell me a little bit more um about how you envision these xr nfts particularly with portal working sure well our company sees a big void in the industry right there's a lot of people are asking a lot of questions about nfts and it is a time for leaders to lead so we are using all of our superpowers in vr ar holograms as you know to uh develop new and interesting concepts that can be deployed its formula is to uh, custom curate or develop from scratch original productions or pieces of art that can live in what we call a hybrid environment. So not only are we looking to put content in the portal, but also in virtual reality in, in virtual worlds like our worlds that we build inside of Altspace or Horizons or any myriad of platforms. We also have the AR integration element so that you can take your NFTs with you wherever you go. Uh, on your phone or other device and possibly hang it on your wall through the magic of AR. So really pitching sort of the triple threat. Um, but all of that is really lost without great legal support, marketing and PR. And for us having a venue located one block from the Raiders stadium in Las Vegas, just off the strip, doesn't hurt at all. Um, I wanna congratulate my partner, Trisha Costello from Freshwater, who is doing a major renovation of our building. We're excited to be opening the first NFT gallery in Las Vegas, which will be opening uh, later this month with some teaser events, followed by a grand opening in June. And uh, we'll be bringing NFTs to pretty much every event that we do and every campaign that we're working on. Um, <clears throat> I am also pleased to announce, um, I don't believe this has gone public yet, but it is on our website. Some of you may see on dreamlandxr.com a page for headsets for healing. And we've teamed up with some really great partners to bring virtual reality headsets to those people in need who might be trapped in a hospital or in some other situation where they need to connect. And so we're gonna be auctioning off NFTs for charity to help raise money for headsets for healing. Uh, we'll be doing some NFTs during our Pride XR event coming up in June, which is the first virtual, full 100% virtual reality Pride event with a global audience. We're gonna be announcing some great partners and sponsors for that coming up as well as some fantastic programming. It's all huge and we're very excited. And we'll continue to do that with our work throughout the year leading up to season three of Dreamland XR at CES, where we hope to have a whole showcase and panel program around NFTs. Oh, Chris, wow. I mean, are we lucky to have you here and breaking that news and the healing side of your work is really quite beautiful. I wanted to turn now to the business model behind these NFTs because I don't know about you, Chris, um, I have friends that are deeply into NFTs and I have friends that are not <laughs> understanding it just yet. And so for those people who are still wondering what's going on, can you speak a little bit about, um, you know, if someone gets an XR NFT for you, how might that um, help them do good while making money? Sure. Well, we try to find opportunities within the art and uh, also in the business model. So uh, the best example that I can give you is currently we have an NFT that we're selling in partnership with Chicken Waffle, and it is the Brain Dance Nightclub. And the Brain Dance Nightclub was actually founded during CES. Uh, it is one of the most active virtual nightclub lounge spaces in the Altspace platform uh, with more than 20,000 visitors. Uh, it was a very successful venue for our Sundance events and we also have been doing weekly comedy shows in partnership with Fail to Render. And so our very busy uh, virtual nightclub is now for sale. You can actually become a founder of the club and have all the same superpowers that we have to utilize the club for your own personal gain or business endeavors. 
You could place NFTs for sale within the club and host events. You can sell tickets coming up in the future to these uh, virtual spaces. So our NFT sale of the Braindance nightclub is actually revenue generating for the buyer. Wow. I mean, what an opportunity. Can you say again how you could purchase that virtual nightclub? I mean, I'm interested. Same yes, uh, you'll want to find the uh, Chicken Waffle page on the Foundation app and uh, also on our social media uh, at DreamlandXR across all platforms. You should be able to track that down. And if anyone needs more information to locate that NFT, please feel free to reach out. Some people are wondering about the clever name Chicken Waffle. <laughs> it's unusual. <laughs> can, you, can you shed some light on that? Yes, yes. Very happy to talk about Chicken Waffle. Uh, Chicken Waffle has been an amazing partner of ours for several years. Uh, Finn Staber, the founder, and I started collaborating at CES a few years ago and have really just um, been a great synergy working together uh, chicken development studio based in Austin, Texas. Uh, they are risk takers and amazing developers who, like us, really work in both 2D, 3D, VR, AR, 4D holograms, you name it. So uh, it's been a really great time working with the team to ideate and, uh, you know, streamline all of the workflows. A lot of the virtual events that we do function a lot like real world events. You'd be surprised to learn that the crew and the staff and the team needed right down to the security um, within our worlds. Uh, it takes a lot of heavy lifting to execute a really seamless event, as you know. And uh, yeah, Chicken Waffle is amazing. So I definitely recommend checking out them. Well, now I'd like to ask you about, before we get into the Q&A section, a little bit more about your future predictions. So where do you see this XR NFT going? I mean, you are the visionary. You're creating the future every day, Chris. What's next? Well, I honestly, I feel that um, like most new technologies, uh, there's going to be this big boom of excitement and acceleration followed by the typical backlash, uh, <laughs> followed by another boom of the people who hung in there and uh, some kind of a plateau uh, followed by some stabilization. So I think that NFTs are here to stay. Uh, they will be making their way into every facet of our economy in some form or fashion. Um, I thought it was interesting on the clubhouse uh, panel yesterday. I'm not sure who that was from Las Vegas that was speaking after George about the marriage licenses being oh, yes. minted in the NFTs. Um, that, was, that was me. Oh, that'll <laughs> great. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, I think also um, another big announcement, um, and speaking of Chicken Waffle, um, we just sold a, one of our first virtual tickets so um, Chicken Waffle just moved a NFT that is actually a virtual ticket for um, Citizen Cope, uh, one of the artists that he's working with in Austin. And so I see a lot of value in virtual memberships, tickets, and different type of subscription-based um, infrastructures that could benefit from smart contracts. Um, and in some cases, uh, just simple memberships, like for our building, we could sell an NFT or give everyone a complimentary NFT as part of their membership and give them certain access to our online and uh, hybrid virtual events. Well, I absolutely love that. And uh, we're about to go into the Q&A part. It's been so fun chatting with you, Chris. Chris Thank is you. one of my favorite people in the entire universe. And you can see <laughs> why. I mean, he is a pioneer. He is uh, on the front lines creating the future. And I, he's doing things with NFTs that are so unique and so special. Um, so those, I just want to set the room really quick. Uh, for those just Beaming in, um, we are live with Chris Crisatelli, um, founder of Dreamland, Dreamland XR, Dreamland NFT, all things Dreamland. And um, now we're going to uh, take your questions, and Adrian is going to take over here because she is our wonderful uh, moderator of the QA. So, take away. great. Well, Chris, I'm very excited. I'll be in Las Vegas in a couple of weeks, so I'll definitely have to come by and see the progress. Yeah. You're not the big, are you the big round building? 
we, we are uh, one block from the stadium uh, on Valley View in the new stadium district. Um, although we've been there for quite some time, uh, we are doing a renovation to uh, open up some of our spaces to the public, whereas previously we were more of a private venue for corporate events. And now we'll be open five days a week uh, starting in June. And we've got a whole slate of programs coming. Uh, so we're super excited. I love what you were talking about, about Citizen Cope and selling the tickets. Uh, he was in my NFT for Demi's room. We oh, did a 24 okay. hour room on Clubhouse and uh, he's absolutely amazing. He played for us. And I think that uh, you totally nailed it when it comes to artists and selling tickets. And then the memberships is my biggest thing. Um, I'm all about using NFTs to build community yes. and, and using those NFTs as gated access. Like if you don't own it, you don't get in, you know, right. It's not, a, it's not, it's not the in and out secret venue. If you know the password, you actually have to own it. So <laughs> true. Yes. I think that is wonderful. So um, tell me what are some of the things that you're using as gated content or gated access? Well, we're going to be offering uh, some, uh, to the nightclub, as I mentioned, also some VIP memberships will be coming into play soon um, at a more affordable price. I think it's really important to have different offerings for the different type of uh, price structures. So having a more affordable offering for everyone, uh, medium priced offering, and then of course a, a high end or an auction item that can um, fetch a higher price tag. I think it's really good to spread the love around. Um, and in some cases, uh, giving away free NFTs is also very valuable. So um, coming up in the next few months, we're gonna be, well, gonna turn the conversation sideways a little bit. Um, for those that don't know, I work very extensively in the UFO and extraterrestrial intelligence field. Um, I've been working with Dr. Greer for many years, produced the film Unacknowledged, which is currently on Amazon Prime. Um, we haven't announced this yet, but I'll give you the exclusive. Um, we're going to be launching a series of NFTs called Disclosure Drops, and oh. we'll be featuring some never before seen UFO themed content and information that should make headlines around the world. And um, I'm just beyond excited to share that with everyone uh, coming soon. It's like NFTs and WikiLeaks and UFOs. <laughs> I guess you could say that without the WikiLeaks part. Um, well, I mean, about the, about the never before seen, you know, yes. top secret, yes. like that kind of thing. Although the military did just acknowledge UFOs. so They did. There's a lot going on. And uh, we like to say that as documentary filmmakers, we like to work in what we call conspiracy fact instead of conspiracy theory. Yeah. Um, conspiracy fact just means we have evidence and have triangulated most of the stories and documents and things that we're working with. And that's just been our MO since day one. I love it. I absolutely love it. So where do you see the space going? I mean, we're talking about emerging technology. So I'm looking at, you know, in five years, what will be the new normal? I think with regards to the, let's just call it the battle of the art dealers. Um, I think it's really interesting that a Van Gogh was priced and sold at auction at Christie's for hugely less than the people was. Um, so I think you're gonna see a real changing of the guard. Um, I like to say the modern day Michelangelo's are about to get their day in the sun. Um, and so we're actually helping that initiative along with some of our projects like the Hall of Saints that we're developing, which would turn all of the Catholic saints into AI holographic, um, art pieces that you can actually interact with. <gasps> oh my goodness. What that is phenomenal. And what AI platform are you using to drive? Uh, we're, still, we're still exploring that it's in the very early stages, but I'm working with a team. Um, there are more than 10,000 saints. So it's a quite a big project that we're taking on. Um, it's just in the very infant, um, early beginnings of it, but um, I'm actually related to a Catholic saint. So there's a special place in my heart for supporting the saints. And uh, I'm excited to bring that technology into the realm of mysticism and, and wisdom. I think that is phenomenal. And with the, uh, the Catholic saints, I mean, that's just, there, there are a lot of Catholics in the world. So I think you're going to have a winner when it comes to NFT sales. Yeah. And, Mm -hmm. And one last question, 
So you mentioned uh, selling the nightclub on foundation. Can you can you tell us what it is? It on auction? Is there a reserve? Um, it I is. To sell out? <laughs> uh, I believe uh, it is on uh, reserve and uh, goes to auction after it meets the reserve. But the res on foundation, the reserve is usually public. Do you know what that is? Um, I will have to pull up the information for you. Um, okay. I'm going to jump in now and uh, and uh, thank Adrian for this wonderful Q and A, and thank Chris. That was that was just exceptional. Thank and you. Uh, it, uh, we're going to uh, take a little pause here, and we'll um, let you zoom on <laughs> with your day, Chris. I know you're doing really really important work and so forth. So uh, thank you for joining us today. Um, you know you'll hear from me soon. I love collaborating with you, Chris. Keep up the great work. Thank, thank you, you, everyone. So much. And I'll stop right here.